Yo, I had to hop on sooner than I thought. I'm seeing King K. I'm seeing Burr here in Loser's Semis. One of these guys is going to move on to Loser's Finals. Dude, I'm so hyped. Wow, is this going to be a Texas team kill all the way in LA? I mean, it's it's loser semifinals. I mean, I figured this was going to happen eventually because these guys is moving on. Absolutely. Wow, even the charge up smash not taking it out for the rod at that at that percent. Dude, Bert made such a crazy losers run to get here too because he went down in like round two. Losers three. losers round uh Winners round three, three, I think, or winners, winners round three or something. Oh, okay. He's all the way here fighting against King K, who is like in, in winner semis. And he's looking good. Oh, and he's looking good, too. He's up a stock in the first game, and that's really important, especially Catches on the, the whiff. Neutral yeah. stage like uh, PS2. Yeah, I feel like this is this is not a bad not a bad stage for either of these characters, of course, just because Inkling can do so much with a lot of space. But of course, you got to respect the the projectiles that Rob has as well. Absolutely, and both of them like killing off the top. And this stage, as you can see there, has one of the shortest vertical ceilings in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, carryover from the from the Pokemon Stadium of old back in Melee. As it's off windmill. Got As it's off, baby. <laughs> gotta <laughs> gotta gotta have a good stage in there somewhere. <laughs> You know, Absolutely. I'm like I'm like some of the other ones that we see in some real sets. Even game like literally as even as it could have gotten right there, but Burr with an aggressive get up off of the ledge. Mm -hmm. We we're seeing these rollers at, at mid to low percents. You know, possibly you know he could do roller roller up air or roll into smash attack for damage of getting up. Oh, 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 what di? What incredible <laughs> di? Oh my there's some, god. There's some matchup experience here for Burr, but like the second. Oh. Up smash afterwards and trying to land on that arm rotor as well. <laughs> oh my god. And what a turnaround from, from King K. Going That's away. it, baby. That is it. No way. Yeah, oh. no. Splat, splat roller and then getting plenty of English on that up smash as well. Burr sealing out the end of that game one. I didn't wow. catch the whole beginning, but boy, wow. even all the way through. Wow. King K really almost had it there. Really just, oh, like, with the double up smash? Oh, my God. I love it. One confirm away, dude. I mean, that was <laughs> that was one roller away from Burr, one grab away from King K. I mean, it was really just a berry, and it's over. And, you know, uh, you know, Burr was the one who ended up getting it. And yeah. he is pulling oh, out a Pichu wow. that I have literally never in my life I seen. I was just about to ask. You know these you know these guys. You've uh, played with them a lot. Uh, is there any history <laughs> to I'm, this Pichu? <laughs> I'm stumped. I uh, <laughs> No, I... Personally, I haven't seen it before, but that we're on Kalos, that might have a little bit of something to do with it. I'm not sure. I mean, the stage pick could absolutely matter, but you know, I've seen King K beat some uh, notable Pichus, you know, back in the region, back in Texas. So seeing this come out, this is a this is a brave pick from Burr picking the funny little rat. <laughs> so, uh, do they have any sort of history in Dallas? Uh, uh, played friends? played a couple sets. I mean, they're good friends, so like there isn't a whole lot of like tactic hiding or anything. Like they made a whole road trip out here together. Oh. King K though catching that low recovery, Burr knows that you know he's got all the distance in the world with this with this Pichu. So if he goes low, he's generally safe. But not if King K knows that's what you're going to do every single time. Yeah, I, I'm I'm really interested to the uh, as to why the Pichu. Maybe he thought he could jump a little bit better on a stage with you know, uh, essentially FD plus weird platform. Mm -hmm. But boy, having some trouble just applying that pressure off stage when King K has that gyro at the ready. Oof. Doing a lot of work. Pichu low profiling that up smash, but I great DI. That. That's great DI. Now, do we know anything behind the history of the tag? For instance, Kate. Uh, there is history, but I have not personally asked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm pretty sure King K for his tag, he's just a happy guy in general. I, I'm, I'm sure he is. He looks like it. Um, <laughs> But uh, what he won't be as, ha as uh, happy if he loses to this Pichu on the counter pick. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's already not that happy having to fight against the Pichu <laughs> in the first place. You know, I'm going to be real, but yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God. Oh, Two, my God. Two, thunk him again, oh. baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is this is really incredible. I You know, I thought after that early KO that, you know, we would see something on. But again, uh, the Pichu is able to. Oh, catch back. the jump. Ah, uh, the jump read. Really no reason for the jump up there. You know, that, that's, a, that's a bad habit that a lot of players get into. Well, you know what? It's not. It's not even that it was that it was a, a read. Generally, I think that was really just a, what a lot of robs do after that back throw when they toss you off. Yep. You know, they, they throw it out to cover the jump, and if you jump into it, great, you're great. dead. And if not, that's no risk to them. Exactly. They just start charging it again. Uh, <laughs> oh, throw out that back air. Burr knows that it can cover so much, but a very long-winded recovery from King K is going to get him back safely. He tries oh, very, oh very my, so dearly oh to punish it, God. but Burr drops his back. 
Because again, the, the experience with this Pichu is not quite the same as the Inkling. No. And already the percent on this Pichu has climbed up well past kill percent, especially for someone like Rob, who can almost kill from the opposite side of the stage. Oh, oh my oh gosh, my he chases him all the way! Oh, <laughs> I'm smashed. Let's go. Dude, King K does oh not care god. about anything that you oh have in mind. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, he went, he went on the Mario Kart all the way, dude. <laughs> He's just rolling. Yo. <laughs> Come on, Burr, how can you lose to Rob? It's the only <laughs> character without feet. <laughs> Is that true? Clearly low tier, yeah. No, you think it, you you find me another character in this game that doesn't have feet and I'll pay you money because that doesn't exist. Piranha Plant Piranha has plant? feet. No way. Piranha Plant has feet underneath that pot. Oh god, yep. that is some deviant art that I do not. Yeah, no, go go look into. No, we're not talking about that. Hey, hey, no. hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey! He's got a guy. Boy's got to move around somehow. Are you kidding me? I I think you might actually be right. That's that's incredible. Yeah, no, he really does. Rob is the only character in this game without feet. Well, you heard it here first, and I I respect this going back to the inkling pick. Maybe it was a stage thing. Maybe he wanted to test out you know one of his secondaries in tournament. But already we're seeing how great it is for for Bird to go back to the inkling. 65% unanswered and Rob in disadvantage. The the right. hot the hot start is the burst special. He will so often start off a stock with just 70, 80%, and then you know it's it's a matter of will he be able to to roll along pun intended afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, that's maybe both Burr and the character as well. But let's see if he can close out the stocks. Uh, you know, uh, up, up, up smash out of field, of course, being a wonderful option. For him. So I, I don't blame him for going for it at all. Let's see how he keeps him out of uh, disadvantage. Yeah, could possibly just end up being one of these situations where it's a it's a heavy character. Just throwing out a move to confirm the won't work. Yeah, gyro at ledge is very dangerous. Of course, when you get hit by a gyro, it hits you in the direction that Rob is facing when he drops it. Uh, wow. If he if he does if he does a Z drop or a toss oh, down, beautiful. Burr, yeah, deep chase. So it hits in the direction that they're facing when they drop it, which can lead either to what we just saw—the up smash if it goes in, or the down air for the spike if it mm -hmm. goes out. There's your—that's your, your mix-up right there. Yeah. Kinky, well he. Oh, okay. I I've seen him before. Uh -huh. Go for just just this last Sunday at a final strike back in back in Texas. Yeah. He. Uh, I don't think it was against Burr, but against somebody, he just got two side B's in a row, two arm rotors. Oh, off stage for the KO. Yeah. It oh, was it was no. disgusting. <laughs> Kinky Kinky is he's just one of the most disgusting Robins out there. It's Amazing. Okay, down throw Burr trying to set up for a quick combo to see if he can catch King K with the wrong DI, but a uh, good reaction there on that air dodge. Oh my him. god, and the gyro kill. Oh my god, the, the, the laser read to the gyro kill to the I'm down a stock. Yeah, really, really good stuff there from King K, knowing that uh, Burr in the past, you know, he really likes to use that splat bomb to cover his uh, recovery, keep his opponent from going off stage as well, which against Rob is kind of necessary, but. Dueling side piece right there, the arm rotor wins out, and even on the parry on that nair, King K is able to mash a grab and get himself, uh, or not a grab, but uh, a hit to get out. I think that was probably the down tilt, frame two, of course. Yes. To to, uh, to just kind of get him out of that situation. That is crazy how safe that nair is, even a long parry. Yes. And we're, we're seeing, wow, 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 getting hit by <laughs> it's, it's a it's It's a tough thing to pick up, dude. It is tough. You know, and of course, uh, Inkling's back air not going to be untouchable for a Mash is down tilt again. Yeah. That's so insane. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my Bake God. out. Wow, that's that's brave. Wow. But Especially with Rob having so many options at ledge. Mm -hmm. And particularly just how much the gyro is. He's going to hold this down forever. <laughs> he doesn't care. Ink Inkling, Inkling will run out of ink or patience. <gasps> he almost wow. broke King K's wow. shield somehow. But it won't matter because the the spinning cyborg with no feet is going to be. Yeah, carries <laughs> carries him over to the ledge and King K uh, taking the two one lead. Wow, looking, looking pretty pretty solid after that uh, after dropping that game one. I was gonna say the the game one it actually looked pretty comfortably in Burr's favor, but it, we've seen the adaptation and we've seen a much more cruel and punishing ledge game from, from King K, and I think that's what's making the difference here. Yeah, the punish the punish game is definitely ramped up for King K. I mean, yeah. and especially when it just comes to uh, covering what Burr is doing. I think you just need to kind of attune back and remember, okay, what do I need to do against Inkling? How am I going to beat this character? Absolutely. That's one of the most important things in this game, of course, with so many characters. Matchup knowledge is one of the most important things. So if you don't know how to fight Rob, you're going to fall into a lot of what Rob's going to do. Especially the traps with the projectiles. That is, that is his favorite thing to do. You oh, know, yeah. if you get, get a little Mary Poppins, a few of his favorite things <laughs> are uh, gyros and <laughs> gyros <laughs> and lasers and down tilts and rotors. Oh my God! Yes, exactly. 
and we're seeing again with Burr starting off with the lead, starting off almost getting uh, Rob Piquet with percent. Of course, the Booyah Ooh! is not going to kill him, but the Juggle absolutely will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rob is a heavy character, and if he is not able to get that neutral air out in time, well, he's a big boy, and you can juggle him. It's just a matter of if you give him the time to do it. Burr with that tech away is not going to get caught by the up smash, but stage position now belongs to King K. Absolutely. But no rage on, on Rob is going to make uh, Inkling at least live for a bit longer. I like also these close range splatter shots that we're seeing from uh, from Burr, just to condition him to get into shield so he can get more grabs. Ooh, catches him dashing. You know, King K knows if you throw out a hitbox while somebody's dashing around, you cannot shield out of that dash dance. Oh my god. And see, the, just what we were talking about, the, sl the splatter shot on the shield is going to do so much good shield pressure, and so much good uh, damage. Uh, aside from inking, of course. Yeah, of Beautiful course. bread and butters for the inkling. Uh, almost up to the entire stock. Let's see if we can close it out before it, uh, too many uh, uh, too many uh, neutral exchanges are one in uh, King K's favor. Mm -hmm. All right, picking up that gyro once again. King K establishing himself a little bit of control. Now a lot of control on stage. Oh, and he's able to make it back, but the side B is going to send him off for We do it B. again. Oh my god, the gyro almost connecting again in the same exact way as the last game. But Burr not going to let you do that twice in a row up air. Not going to do it. Rob's chunky. He's beefy. He's been eating his Campbell's soup and no mash there from King K. Means that Burr is going to be able to take that stock. And he has King K down to his last one. Burr would love to send this to a game five. Absolutely. You know, and they're all uh, uh, being housed at the same place in uh, uh, LA for this week. Courtesy so, you of know. you, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so we are. So we don't want to see any tensions in the house. Of course, we want a nice, healthy game five for everything. I think. I think just the fact that that they're meeting here in a in a non. Uh, in a, in, a, in a part of the bracket where the seating would not have played a factor, I think is uh, is plenty enough for them. So incredible. Oh, oh my gosh, he doesn't get the no. tech. He wasn't ready to tech because he got hit by a downer. Oh my god. Oh, wonderful. That is, that is a classic burr right there. That's a there. classic burr. Get the, get the jab lock. Tried to no, read him. No, Did King no, K just connect no, it? He did no, not. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't do it. Don't He's do it. He's going Don't slow. What is happening? What is happening? Play a regular oh game god. of Smash Brothers, for God's oh sake. Oh my god, they can't do it. Oh my god, they can't do it. Craziest edge games. Oh my god. I, it's so funny that that didn't end. Up tilt to up air? No, burr's going to be able to DI out. Burr's kind of getting too thirsty with those with those side bees. Oh, continues to hold oh down the jab. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's it! Up. Wow, King K catches him in the wow. air with the armor, carries him to the ledge, and yeah, like oh. you said, man, three one in his favor. But that was a very very close game four. Very down to the wire. Too. Wow, incredible. Well, good stuff there from King K. I see that you're probably.